I'm going to show you how to cross the really big lake on the Great Sky Island near the beginning of the game. So we're going to start before we even drop down. We got to help a Korok up here. And then we'll do it that way. And that'll lead to some materials. There's multiple ways to do it. We're just going to go through this whole process with helping this guy first, though. And also, you need to do the Ukro Shrine or whatever it's called. The one right near the Time Temple first before you can even come here. Because you've got to get the ability to craft items by attaching things. All right, let's help this Kikori guy. This Kor Korok. This is awful. Where's my friend? Huh? You can see me. I'm a Korok, one of the children of the forest. I was traveling with my friend, but we got separated. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. All right. I see what we're going to do here. So in order to help the Korok, we're going to have to use Ultra Hand. And we're going to have to bring some logs together. We're going to ideally want to put three of them together. Um, is there a way? Oh, yeah. Move it forward. And then we're going to rotate it. And then we're going to attach it. And then we're going to go to our inventory and take the stone axe. And we're going to chop down this tree. Take that Korok frond. All right. Let's go ahead and use Ultra Hand again. Grab this. Bring it over here. Let's um, rotate it once this way. Set it back down. Attach it like that. Then what we're going to do is use Ultra Hand again. And we're going to grab this. Bring it over. Rotate it like this. And then up. And then rotate it. I'm going to put it this way. That'll be the most convenient way for me to do this. And then bring it closer to me and attach. Then what we're going to do is we're going to not throw the axe. We're going to Ultra Hand. Grab him. Hopefully he doesn't fall off the edge of the map and just die. We'll see. Um, let's try to put him as centered as we can. Oh, we actually attached him. All right, that's perfect. Don't have to worry. He, he can attach to He's not free floating. Now we grab the whole structure. And we put it here and then cancel. And we really fast jump on it. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to actually do this a little more precariously. So we're going to use Ultra Hand. We're going to grab it. We need to make sure that it's actually floating. Right there, it was on the ground. So bring it out here and then do it and quickly get on before it goes. Alrighty, now what we're going to do is we're going to use Ultra Hand again. We're going to grab him. And we're going to shake him free by moving the stick left and right. Bring him over. And then I'm not really sure exactly where to set him. So we're just going to set him right here. I'm not sure which one to talk to. It won't let me talk to this one. Reunited at last. Thanks. I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. Korok seeds times two. This small seed was given to you by a Korok. It has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what may happen. <laughs> And goodbye. And they're still here, though. He said goodbye, but they're still here. All right, let's see what these two are all about. I'm sure this is going to do something for me. Let's talk to Korok 1. Thanks for bringing my friend. And let's talk to Korok 2. I made it, thanks to you. I guess that's all. I'm curious what this is, though. Oh, that's just him making a fire earlier. That's all that was. So if I do Ultra Hand, can I grab it? No, I cannot. Okay, so now what we're going to want to do in order to cross the water over there is we're going to take... We don't even need to take these logs. We already made ourselves a boat. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come over here and we're going to use Ultra Hand. And then we're going to take this. We're not going to put it on just yet. We're just going to bring it near it and cancel. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to use Ultra Hand again and grab this sail. Bring it over. And for now, we'll go ahead and rotate it like this and just leave it at an angle. Just stick it on the side for now because we just want it to be on there, but keep it out of the way. Um, I'm curious real fast, though, what else is on this island? We've got a Zonai charge right here. You should probably grab if you're doing this. And then up here, there's probably going to be something. So there's some boxes with arrows in them. Definitely worth picking up. And then a um, uh, Sky Shroom over here. And a sky stream over here. And probably another one somewhere. I think that's everything for this island. All right. So now we could make the raft bigger. 
And honestly, I'm going to do that for fun because my stamina is out real fast. So Let's take this and rotate it and stick it on the side just to make the raft a little bit bigger. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take Ultra Hand again, grab the whole raft. And then it looks like I have it on the wrong side. So we're going to take it up and over. And now things are weird because I put the sail on the wrong side because I wasn't paying attention. All right, so in that case, we're going to cancel this. We're going to use Ultra Hand again. We're going to grab the sail. We're going to shake it off. And then we're going to go over here. We're going to rotate it the opposite way. And we're just going to stick it somewhere on the side. Now we're going to use Ultra Hand again. We're going to put this on. And then we're going to cancel and quickly get on. I wonder if that sail is actually slowing us down and this like makes it harder to go down this. Well, either way, now we're down here. So now what we can do, Ultra Hand, grab this. And now we have a boat that we can use to get across. And carrying this thing makes the game play at like two FPS. All right, so it looks like that's an enemy there. I don't really want to deal with him just now. So we're going to go past him like this. And then go over to here. Because I think there were there was, there was another sail. I don't know that it even matters to put two on. But I just want to make a really fancy boat for this. So we're going to unstick that. Watch out for that guy. I really don't want to use my stone axe. Cause I'm, I don't know if it actually breaks or it's permanent. Alright, so that takes care of that guy. Got a thick stick. And then also whatever else. Oh, I can't carry any more melee weapons, so let me grab his stuff. Okay, so now we could make the boat more advanced. So let's go ahead and use Ultra Hand again. And grab this. And shake it off the top if it'll let me. There we go. All right. Let's drop that for now. And then we're going to make a bigger boat. Let's, let's go all the way. We're going all the way. All right, let's put it on like this. That is... Okay, that's that's disgusting looking. There we go. That's better. All right, now we're going to take this sail. And now we're going to rotate it like this and then up. And we're going to put it... I really want to put it... Yeah, there we go. Right. Ah, oh, that is not... That is not... Okay, well, we got one sail at a time. Alright, let's uh, grab this one. And then rotate it up. Which way is which? Okay, this way is the right way. Now we're going to stick it on right there. Then we're going to take this and we're going to overkill. You don't need to do as much as I'm doing. I'm like 99% sure. Rotate it up. And then rotate it around like this. I don't think I can stick it in the middle though. Oh, maybe I can. Okay, well in that case, let's Ultra Hand again. And let's grab this. Rotate it up. And then stick this one on the back. And let's make a fancier boat. Let's grab this thing. And we're going to put it on the back. At an angle like this. As if it was some kind of like anchor or tow away or something. Oh, and we got some blue slimes to kill. That was not how I wanted that to go. We got choo-choo jelly. A gelatinous substance that came from a choo-choo. It's unusable in this state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. Oh, wow. They actually blow away in the wind. All right. So now in order to cross this lake, all we got to do is use Ultra Hand on this obnoxious boat that I made. Make sure that it's facing the right way, because I don't know that I'll be able to control this like at all. We'll see. And then we're going to cancel. Oh, no. It's getting away. Uh-oh. Can I alter hand it? No. Oh, well, that's not good. 
There goes our boat. And <laughs> we used all three sails on it. Wait a minute. What do we even do now if you do that? I think I just screwed myself. Is there a way to reset the area or do I not actually need a boat? Well, that was how you were supposed to get across the lake. So if you needed help getting across the lake, just do that. But instead, actually jump on your boat, unfortunately, which I did not do. Um, yeah, I actually don't know how you would reset at this point if you mess that up. Like, I think if you mess that up, it's just game over. So uh, something else I'll try then. I'll take my stone axe. I'm going to cut down three trees. All right, and now I'm going to use Ultra Hand. I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to grab this. Attach it like that. And then we're going to grab this. And we're going to attach it like that. Now we're going to take this. And I can probably get across, I'm hoping, by coming out here and then moving it forward as far as I can. And then um, canceling. And then, if it will let me climb up on this, we'll see here. Okay, that's what I wish it would let me do to the other one. And then what we can do is we can use Ultra Hand and unstick one of these. And then we can just drop it. And then we can jump across to it. Then we can... This is so ridiculous. Just use the sail. Don't mess this up like I did. Or else this is going to be super stupid. Okay. So then we can cancel that. And then swim over to it. And climb up. And then I think I'm out of... I could go slower and then I... Okay, no, no. If we're good. We're good. All right. Let's move this log over. At this point, I think we're probably good. So let's just get on this and see if we can or can't just swim the rest of the way. Actually, I'm a little scared we can't swim the rest of the way. Let's, let's be extra safe here. Alter hand this. And then drop it like that. All right, now we should for sure be able to make it across. Uh, let's get that full stamina. And then we can uh, swim across like this. Yeah, it looks like I really did need to do that last one. Maybe if I swim really slow, my stamina will last long enough, though. But Okay. Well, there you go. If any of you guys are wondering how to get across the lake on the Great Sky Island in order to get to the next shrine. That's pretty much the way to do it. So hopefully that helps you out.